Hey, hi there Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda and I would like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekly predictive reading for November 2019. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable and please only take those portions that resonate with you. Okay Aquarius, off camera, I performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis and the issue of the matter. The Queen of Pentacles, Aquarius. Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You may have Earth in your chart, as well as someone else around you. This is someone that's domestic. They're practical and capable and orderly. They're generous and benevolent. They respect money as a tool, but they do not worship it. They want tangible results from the money they distribute or offer. This can represent security or a mother or someone being nurturing, someone that loans other people's money, but they also clip coupons and they stretch their dollar. And they're, they're happy to say they found a sale at 75% off. This is someone that's protective and nurturing and resourceful. They love gardens and growing things. Fertility is represented here. This is someone that loves nature and they're affectionate and they're caring and they know how to manage money. This has to do with material concerns. It can indicate help given of a practical nature. This is someone that loves the good things in life and having acquired them, they're content to spend their life enjoying them. They're satisfied when they get what they want and yet they put a high value on stability. They're the part of us that revels in gardening and cooking, craft making, massaging and being massaged. They're all physical sensations that leave us feeling content and whole. She is our love of comfort and luxury, yet she will still be frugal about it. Could be someone may not show or say how they feel. Yet sometimes dependency upon routine can make them fearful of change. So take some time to consider all the options before proceeding. Your second card, these are the energies that are crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Five of Cups, Aquarius, water energy. This is a feeling of disappointment, dwelling on a painful loss that happened in the past. It's disappointment and brooding. Someone's Mars can be in Scorpio. These two cups standing represent what is really important. This is a card of choice. You can continue to brood over what went wrong, or you can think about how it can be better in the future. You might be haunted by a loss, feeling sadness, mourning, suffering. It's an emotional adjustment. Fives are about change and adjustments to those change. This can be loss of a cherished dream or a loved possession. But with this loss comes change and the opportunity to uh, not run away from your feelings. You've been waiting for this new beginning for a long time. It's a period of transformation and the start of a new phase. So use courage and determination to find your way out. Something has passed, it has flowed on, but something new is waiting for you. So turn around and address new spiritual possibilities and truths. Do not focus on the negative. Have faith in the future. Turn to the new. Queen of Pentacles with the Five of Cups this is feeling the need to fix what is broken. It's changing your view and looking at what is good. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you are aware of. The Page of Cups, Aquarius, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is a card, uh, it's a, a new energy coming in that has to do with your sensitivity. It, it could be a message about love. This is successful manifestation and wishing. It could be news of an emotional nature. This is, could be news about an engagement or a wedding or a message about love. It carries emotional, emotional risk. It can also be the news of the birth of a child or psychic ability beginning to emerge. It's thoughts and dreams. Could be news of a new lover or love that's imminent. Someone that's sensitive and helpful. These are new insights. You'll need to express your wishes and fears clearly and directly. 
If you're single, you may be finding out that you have an admirer. You may be intuitive or act on a hunch. This could be news about a new creative project or adventure. It's romantic news. You could be renewing a relationship through kind words and romantic gestures. This is someone that's sensitive, they're kind nature, they're the emotional type with strong artistic talents. They're often psychic. This could be someone that was afraid to let go emotionally because they'd been hurt in the past. Remember to take note of those synchronicities and hunches and muse over a dream. This is someone that has an innocent, trusting nature and that enables them to merge comfortably in the most social situations. And they're most likely to see their own goodness reflected in those that they encounter. This is going with the flow in matters of the heart. The Queen of Pentacles with the Page of Cups. This can be interaction with an immature person or immature feelings. And now your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the results, the outcome, and the resolution. Being in the future position, this could be a surprise. The Four of Cups, Aquarius. More water energy. This is an offer that's being handed by a divine hand with a cloud, and you're not looking at it. There's some discontent. You might be waiting for the right opportunity. You're resting and withdrawing. You do have options, there's that offer, and you're contemplating joy. This can represent someone's moon and cancer. This is drifting and dreaming before getting back to that daily grind. There could be some indifference, dissatisfaction, boredom, daydreaming, apathy. This is a withdrawal from an emotional situation. It's going within and seeking inspiration. You may be tired of a situation, feeling flat and uninspired, self-absorbed, not interested. It's finding yourself tired of a situation and lacking those emotional resources to proceed. Not doing too much to change. But the answers and the inspiration you need to go on are there for you. Do not sink into apathy. It blocks you from seeing other emotional opportunities. And pay close attention to your dreams, especially the ones that you remember. They are messages. And watch for signs and synchronicities. And do not get stuck in your withdrawal. Find ways to move forward. This is feeling like left out or not enjoying company. You might be waiting for something, turning things over in your mind, ruminating, overanalyzing, being suspicious or reluctant, obstinate, jaded. You may be disenchanted, apathetic, bored, and self-absorbed. Could be detachment from the world becomes an issue. You're closed off to a situation or a solution. Queen of Pentacles with the Four of Cups. This represents delays in getting your desires or opportunity or offer to achieve your goals. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen is because it's not something that you're sharing with others yet, but you are consciously aware of it. The Six of Swords, Aquarius, air energy. This is a card of moving on from difficulties. You know that there's a better future, not too far ahead. It's a calm and undisturbed future. There's going to be mental healing and support. It's a transition with recovery. This can represent movement of any kind. Someone's Mercury in Aquarius. It's leaving these troubles behind. It's smooth sailing, and it's the calm after the storm. It could be a move or a journey. This change will go smoothly. There's a transition could be going on a short trip somewhere, even a spiritual journey. This can be in a, be in a somber state. You're coasting along. The storm is broken and now calm is setting in. So be open for th how things develop and have patience. This is moving towards more peaceful times, maybe a move to a more pleasing environment. You may be feeling weighed down by heavy thoughts and emotions. This is a release of tension and anxiety after a period of strain or confusion or something destructive. And a sense of harmony will prevail once again. You may need to let go of what is holding you back. This is a mental shift. 
It's a calming of emotions, and healing has begun. The Queen of Pentacles with the Six of Swords. This is an emotional journey aiming to better yourself. It's a supportive improvement, a supportive and fertile improvement. And the Five of Cups with the Page of Cups. This is a heartfelt communication concerning difficulties. The Five of Cups with the Four of Cups. This can be rejecting the change or an offer. Sometimes breaking up hurts. The Five of Cups with the Six of Cups. It's moving on from disappointments and recovering. And the Page of Cups with the Four of Cups. It's feeling emotionally flat, feeling let down. Wanting more romance. Someone could be easily hurt. Page of Cups with the Six of Swords can represent a slow communication. It could be puppy love that helps you recover. It can be isolating emotions and even online study. The Four of Cups with the Six of Swords. This is mentally leaving a situation you do not want. And now here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Earth Magic by Stephen Farmer. Aquarius, you've got Ocean representing ebb and flow, ocean. The ebb and flow of life is never more clearly represented than in the ocean's movements. The tides of these great bodies of water rise and fall in regular rhythms, and the waves continue to roll to the shores in endless and varied patterns, just as they have been doing for millions of years and will continue to do so for millions more. These tides and waves maintain a relative predictability unless other unforeseeable forces of nature intervene, which have been known to happen. Hurricanes and earthquakes, for instance, can have a dramatic effect on the characteristics of both tides and waves. The ocean covers 70% of the earth, and the human body averages a composition of 70% water. The dynamic, dynamic gravitational interaction of the sun and the moon that moves these massive bodies of water and create the shifting tides also affect our human bodies in ways we respond to instinctively, often having a great deal more influence over our moods and emotional states, emotional states than we're aware of. Aquarius, an important aspect in the art of living is to move with the ebb and flow of your emotions, joining their fluidity and not being captured by it. It is also not necessary to become obsessed with any particular fluctuation in mood or feeling. They are simply emotions, often activated in ways that are completely beyond your understanding. When you neither minimize nor exaggerate the intensity and importance of your emotions, you then have a greater sense of when and how to express them. You've been fighting the ebb and flow of your own feelings, denying your hurt, anger, or sorrow, by either attaching yourself to one or the other and nurturing it as if it were and nursing a child, or else soothing over your feelings with more practical responses that deny and hide what is going on beneath the surface of your expression. When you attempt to constrict yourself from experiencing your emotions, it is much like trying to stem the tides that grow even more forceful with every attempt humans make to control them. Allow yourself to swim with these variations rather than resisting them. Thanks, you guys, Aquarius. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe or even say hi. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.